Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's iOS Update. This time out, a new solution for running plugins in iOS audio apps. Let's get started. We've had different effects processors and virtual instruments available for iOS for quite a while, but integrating those into DAW-style software in your iOS device has always been a bit of a challenge. You could use inner application audio to route signals back and forth, there was AudioBus for routing signals, and those solutions work great. But if you really want to work with plugins in the way that you work with them on your computer, it really wasn't available in most of the apps unless they were built into the app itself. But now there's a solution available from Apple that allows us to run third-party plugins inside other audio apps. Basically, what Apple did with iOS 9 is add an audio units extension that allows you to have the same type of plugins running on your iOS device as you have in your computer. So you can have virtual instruments, synthesizers, samplers, drum machines, whatever you might want to have, as well as effects processor plugins that you can load up inside your DAW, save with your session, recall, use them in exactly the same way that you use them in your computer. We're just starting to see the first of the apps that support the audio units extension become available at this point. Some of the first plugins are out. I've got one of the first virtual synthesizers loaded up into my iPad that I'll be showing you in a second. And some of the host apps are starting to show up as well. In this case, I'm running Multitrack Studio. Now, we're going to be doing a full review of Multitrack Studio soon, but today I want to focus on that audio units extension feature. Previously, if you wanted to use the output from a virtual instrument inside a DAW running in your iPad like this, you'd have to route it through Internet Application Audio, or you'd have to use AudioBus to do that. And again, that works fine, but you're switching between two independent apps at that point. You're not running one within the other. In this case, we're actually running the plugin right inside of Multitrack Studio. So let's take a look at how this works. We can add a track here. I'm going to add a MIDI track. We'll just leave that called Track 3. That's fine. Now that we've got a track loaded up, we can take a look at how this works. We've got three plugin slots available per track. In the effects return, we can load up different plugins, and we've also got a master output that we can load different plugins on. There's an instrument loaded into the first slot already, one of the ones that's built into Multitrack Studio, but I want to show you ISEM from Arturia, which supports the audio units extension format. So if we press and hold here, it'll open up. We can see our audio units plugins here. Click on that. ISEM shows up. Click on that. Down here, we can see that's loading. Once the plugin is loaded, we can simply select here to open the window up. And what we're seeing here is not a separate application running beside the DAW as you would have had it set up previously. In this case, we've actually got the plugin running inside Multitrack Studio. We can open up a keyboard. So everything is right inside the DAW just as it would be in your computer. We can modify our preset, we can make any changes that we like, and everything will be saved when we store our session in Multitrack Studio. In fact, we can even program this sequencer style. So if we click here and open this up, within that editor we can add notes just as you would in a computer. If we click plus here, we can draw our notes in. And when we play back, so it really does work exactly the way that a DAW would work inside your computer when you're running plugins. I really can't overemphasize how important and how exciting it is that we now have plugins available inside audio apps running on iOS devices. The audio units extension protocol is available to third-party developers like Arturia, so I'm sure we're going to see a lot of new plugins and a lot of new virtual instruments. You'll be able to purchase those on the app stores. I'm sure some will be in-app purchases, so it's really going to open up a new world for music makers using iPads, iPhones, and iPod touches. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the new audio units extension protocol from Apple, an exciting new development on iOS 9. And thanks for joining me for Sweetwater's iOS Update. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more apps, more hardware accessories, and more tips on making music with your iOS devices. I'm Mitch Gallagher.